Susan Frank, I am so excited to be here and to see you. Oh, thank you so much. What a privilege it is to have you here. Thanks. Welcome to the original Round Top Antiques Fair at the Big Red Barn Event Center. We are the show that started everything in Round Top 53 years ago. That's really exciting and I'm excited to go inside. You want to look for some treasures? Sure, let's go. Okay, great. Fire this baby up. <laughs> So, Sandy Butler of Butler and Butler. Butler and Butler Gallery, and yes. we have a nice site on Ruby Lane, which we love. And we were talking about how we like the items that we buy and sell. Yes. We could personally live with everything that we purchase. Yeah, yeah. And we're so happy when people buy from us and they love it also. Yeah, that's. So, sounds, yes. that's, that's uh, you, so, in other words, you're not just buying for to make for money. To make money. You're no, buying because you love it. You have love a passion. The items. Yeah. Yes. Well, I can see that. I look in the booth, okay? Mm -hmm. And I have a passion for certain things, and, sure. and some things sing to me. Yes. Can I tell you one thing that oh, sings yes. to me? Go okay, I got it. As you know, I've just been here a few minutes, right? Yes. And I haven't told you, just to, so everybody knows, I haven't, sure. we haven't talked about this. This is not pre rehearsed, okay? No. But I look it over there and I see oh. this wonderful French provincial 18th century. 18th century. Louis Caz uh, Fruitwood. Miniature wardrobe. Wardrobe, yes. Yeah. Probably and made for a child. Right. But made exactly yeah. like the Come large. Come on over. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's too pro absolutely to proportion. Yeah. And I'd, I'd opened the door earlier and, and felt the oh, hand planing, yeah. the hardware. The yeah, the carving, the inlay is all Louis Louis Cans, like probably 1740 to 1770 yeah. or so. Louis the Fifteenth, uh, it's, it's cl classic, you know, fruit wood armoire, and the big ones are pretty big. I mean, they they're nine, ten foot yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, and, and this one's so original. It has the same hardware. The doors it, actually lift off like they do in the big. Exactly. Big in fact, exactly. I. I've seen uh, the, just a, I've seen even a little bigger size, but three of those have a, a hold a huge door. Yeah. So to say that these hinge, hinges are over are overbuilt for the door would be uh, an understatement. Right, right. Yeah. You know, but beautiful patina and nice construction. Beautiful but, construction features. And, yes. and, and that's what's the price on that? Um, that is priced at uh, twenty five hundred. God, that seems so, that that yeah, to me. For yeah. a, an, an 18th century miniature, huh. yeah, great price. It, it absolutely is made out of fruit wood, which is, th this is this classic fruit wood grain on here, yeah. which really uh, it show, shines through in the patina, and the patina and is, lovely. is lovely on that, which gets darker down here near the feet, uh, a little bit darker because, be, now that's just, even though it was up on the table, this would have gotten just rubbed a, a lot more. And you can see here, uh, where the patina is lighter and then gets dark down here, that's literally simply from rubbing it, from cleaning it, from opening the store. This just just change in surface right here is is is, is key. That's a little clue to the originality. But uh, actually, when you look at this and go like look at the side of this, oh, I got it. <laughs> Nothing happened. You break it, you bought it, right? You know the old signs you. Used to this paneling right here is wonderful. I love the grain. I love the. Uh, I, I, it just goes to show you that this is a, this is a, this is a true scaled down miniature. You know, it really is. And, but there's so many things you have that I love. And um, I mean, I'm looking at the pink uh, spatterware. Uh, not, not spatterware, but pink luster. Pink luster, sorry. Copper luster. Copper yeah. luster. 1820s. Low yep. pot, right? Lid lifts off, yep. yep very that's nice. that's English, uh, English, English, again, 1820s, mm -hmm. uh, 30s. Yes. Um, that's uh, I used to love this when I was like, when I was a kid at the uh, at the flea markets, you oh, know. Yeah. And um, you don't see that much of it out for sale these days. The pink no. luster, right? Yes. You don't. We used to call it uh, the when it has the marbling the Sunderland luster. Yes. Remember that in the old days? Right. But oh, yeah. I'm looking way down here, yeah. and we have all the way down the other end this. Um, Export, uh, yes. Chinese export, and and when I was twelve and thirteen, my brother and I used to deal in Chinese export uh -huh. porcelain, and I had I was about this high, had long blonde hair, and I'd reach for it, and the, the dealer was thinking I was a just a hippie in their booth, was a gasp and say, "Don't, Don't touch, touch that," yeah. and then they start asking him about it, and they realized that I collected it and yes. dealt in it. 
but I love this this uh, late 18th century, right? So really yes. a true Shenlong true, period, yes. uh, made for export. Decorated in Canton and beautifully exactly. decorated. This one, some yes. some of them don't have as much. No. And then the little heads on either beautiful. side. Beautiful. Yes, little Quite beast nice. head, yes. stylized beast head, gilt, um, and figures here. But this is a very nice cover tween. Uh, I mean, and 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 then. Um, the, the, the nap is actually quite unusual. Often it was a uh, seed pod that did not have this flare. This is almost a flower head. Flower head yeah. yeah, which is kind of more rare than a seed pod, right, I think. A bit unusual. And, um, yeah, and so nice. wonderful. I mean, uh, I just happen to love Chinese porcelain. Well, yes, it's very it, popular these days. Yep, it is. And, yes. um, and there's another, another uh, piece of Chinese then, porcelain? Yes, and that one's quite unusual because it's blue, but then it also has touches of red and gold in the decor. Yes, it does. It has right. iron red, iron red uh, mm -hmm. versus copper red, which would be underglaze. This is overglaze, iron, iron, yes. I mean, uh, iron red. First, they would have had to fire this, right? And, and I know you know this, but yeah. I'm telling our viewers, um, in the kiln at a very high temperature and to, get, to fire the, the cobalt blue, and then they'd have to then they'd add and fire a second time to, to apply the, the red, red at yes. a lower temperature, right? That wouldn't make yeah. the red turn to brown. <laughs> so, and then they had to put the gilding on. So all that oh, for a, nice. a beautiful export flared yeah, mug. Nice that, size mug. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah, with the concave sides. I mean, I this, the decor is very nice. Yes, yes. and again, that's 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 really. I I really think that is right. It's made during the you know probably the Chenlong or the Jia. Uh, Jia Qing uh, eras range mm -hmm. in, in, during mm -hmm. the Qing dynasty yeah. up to probably as late as 1820 but as early as 1770. Could be, yes, okay yeah. what else do you what do you love here what else uh, well, other than yapping um, away? There's a lot of things that I really like okay. the uh, bronze French chenets are yeah. quite spectacular yeah. and by one of the very good uh, bronziers at that time period. Uh, the, so these are these are actually fabulous. I mean, talk about the essence of Rococo, yes, Rococo right? Is... And and Rococo and Louis the Louis the fifth Louis Cas. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, look at that mark right there. I see that right there. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, so it's a 19th century mm -hmm. uh, uh, bronzier, right? As in yes. And we have the name, name on the tag. It's a but bun, bun right here. Uh, it's yeah. right. It's uh, so it says. Uh, I think it's B O U H O M. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. The sign. Yeah. Like the I, I think it's yeah. 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 B O U H O M. Yep, that's a flare. Oh, flare. Oh, flare. Yes. Je ne peux pas français. Petite. Oh, I can say, oh, you're sorry. much better. So your accent's good. Mine's horrible. Uh, we travel my, to France usually for oh, three months every year. Oh my gosh. And and recently, I'm jealous. Been, uh, we haven't been able to be there, so. Well, isn't that nice? So where do you go in France? Oh, uh, sort of the northern part of Provence. Uh -huh. uh, Lyon. We uh -huh. go to all the major shows that are wow. there. Wow. I am so Pick jealous. I'm, <laughs> that's wonderful. No, it's wonderful. It is you, nice. It's, it's a lot of work, but it is very nice. Do, yes. do you actually do the shows yourselves? Or do uh, you just, no, we're you know, there just to buy. Yeah, just yeah. to buy. And you found some of your treasures uh, here. I know, one last thing, I know I saw a French, I said some Champs de uh I'm probably pronouncing uh, that wrong. Ah, yes. Up, up front. Do you want to? pieces up top? Yeah, up, up here, right. I was just in the front of your... In your, yes. Uh, it's had a couple of well, one a 19th century piece. Uh, I saw right some Champlain. Yeah. French, yeah. French um, um, <laughs> Champlain. Yep. Okay. We're gonna come yes. around up there. There. And those were probably done by. Uh, Babylonian. Babylonian. Yes. Yeah, they're very a nice. Parisian, uh, the quality is fabulous. It's really quite nice. Really nice. So they seem, We've had other things done by Barbadian, and they're just superb. Champlevé, enamel work. Yeah, with uh, nice. with an onyx, I think a base. Onyx base yes, yeah. right. That that is so nice. And down here, down here, you yes. had the uh, this sewing. This uh, Palais Royal French Travel and Sewing Ensemble. Yeah. And this one is in mint condition. We think that probably the lady was gifted it, right. put it away, and never used it. It's like a time warp. From, yes. from the 18, uh, 18, 14, no, 1809 to 1819 that's is a, the hallmark. That's one. really early. And, and it was Parisian, the time yeah. of uh, Napoleon yes. was there. Yes. The French, I, I, I just want to say that this, this little time warp, I mean, for all of those pieces to be in there, oh, to, to yes. last from 18. And in 
1810, right? To now, yes. And in mint condition. Mint condition. That's why you can tell they were never, ever used. Wow, that's why you have a lock, lock, yes. the lock case, I can understand. but <laughs> We do keep the case locked, yes. You know, that's probably, it's, not, well, here, it's safe here, but anyway, you, you, yeah. you, probably because you saw me coming and you said, lock the case, Kino, <laughs> no, 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 Kino's no. coming, <laughs> get it <laughs> locked up, so. Anyway, but th well, thank you so much. I mean, quite I mean, I remember that. Uh, did I, I remember you from? I, I think when I was really young. Did I meet you at some some shows? Possibly, possibly so. But we also saw you at the Haddish show. Okay. You came through several times when it was a theta and the Haddish show was oh, going yes, on at the course. same time, and you came into our. You, your bro I think your brother was with you. Okay, and let's they see. They came in. Yes. And uh, looked at a, a nice French bronze lamp that we had. Okay. And a few other things. So. Okay. Do you remember actually the uh, some? Shows though back in the 70s. Back in the 70s, well, cuts down, running Cuts down. My parents, my, yes. my parents used to do that. Yes. I know definitely. when you first came in, you said something. I, yes, I your mother, parents. Norma, I met her for the first time. Everybody was lined up waiting to get in. Right. And I had a little motor home at that time, and everybody would put a little table outside while waiting in line right. with a few things to right. sell. Uh huh. And she ended up buying a vintage or an antique cribbage board from me, so uh, I remember Norma. Oh, then my mom, my late mom, bless her heart. Yes. So I, that's so. I mean, you that. I thank you for bringing oh, her up, though. You're quite welcome. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, and thank you for sharing all these treasures. It was you know, fun. Yes. Yeah, it's great to see you again, then. Well, thank you. Okay, you have a okay. good one. Okay, have a great rest of your show. Thank you. Okay. My hands are cold. Oh, today. don't worry. That's all right. Mine are too. <laughs> Great, you're natural. Okay. You're natural, okay. thank you. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you definitely are. Thank you for joining us on Ruby Lane and for tuning in to this special series filmed in partnership with The Big Red Barn and Round Top by Paper City. Stay tuned for all these exciting features and events. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.